So as catchers, we gotta be able to receive the ball, we gotta be able to block the ball. Green light, we're receiving it, red light, we're blocking it. Cool? Yep, sounds good. You gotta be on time for blocking. If you're late, it's, you're not gonna be able to get into a good position to bounce off and that's another 90 feet to base runner gets. 90 feet could be the game, it could mean nothing, but. Limit the free 90s, make sure that guy's done, get it, get him a free yeah. bag. Yeah. On the red, guy's running. On the green, we're receiving it. Good. But my dudes, I'm, I'm gonna take your vision away. So we have the strobe goggles, it's gonna flash on you. It's gonna be tough to see. Now, as a catcher, your eyes are your biggest tool. I take your vision away from you now. Now you have to do everything you can to be able to recognize this ball, see this pitch here, catch it properly, and make sure it doesn't get by. When we take these off and we go, now we're practicing as if it's man on third base, tie game, less than two outs, this ball can't get by me. If it gets by me, don't catch this right, that kid's gonna score, we lose the game. So we're gonna practice like we're gonna play here. Most movements in baseball happen from the ground up, making lower body power a huge part of the sport. Things like swinging and running are two of the most essential movements in baseball, and both are hugely dependent on power generation from the lower half. With Jake, we use methods like the French contrast style of triphasic training to develop overall lower body power. He's put a great amount of emphasis on being able to lift the landmine, but also be able to transfer the force into the opposite arm and control that rotation from one hip to the next, which is going to immediately transfer over into his power when he's swinging the bat and when he's also throwing the ball. Now we're with clear hips out of the way, so now we're not getting stuck. We're able to move the proper way. We're opening the gate here. Okay. So I want you to get up, open around to open up that hip. Right. So when fielding a ground ball, we have to be able to move efficiently. Maybe we gotta go to our forehand or our backhand, but we also gotta be ready for that yeah. bad hop. But if we can't move well in that position, then we lose our adjustability. Yeah. Here we're gonna be doing a single leg skater. By doing this movement, we're looking for that feel for what it's like to get around the back hip. We'll also be getting a resistance band to give it a more drastic feel of what it's like. 